how's it going? Once again, I'm doing a video on Andy Scale and normalizing it. It's basically just an update to my last video. I figured a few things out that I didn't get right last time, so I'm updating it now. Here I'm getting ready to wrap the knives in the 321 stainless steel tool wrap. I'm using blue paper towel in one, cotton from cotton swabs in another, and argon in the third. I'll show you the results in a little bit. Also, I figured out how to heat treat 52100 with the paint on anti scale. I'm doing that, 1084, and the powdered anti scale again. So stay tuned. Just a reminder, anytime you work with stainless steel tool wrap, you have to wear gloves. It's very sharp and will cut you with quickness. Here I am marking each wrap so I know which one I put which stuff in. First wrap gets the blue paper towel that's in every workshop. I bought those pliers just for crimping tool wraps. They work great. Here goes the cotton swabs. I got these from the dollar store, I think. And last but not least, the argon. I wanted to make sure I left it in there for a while so it blew out all the oxygen. Then I closed it up real quick so none of the argon would escape. Now it's into the oven. 1550 for 15 minutes. The beauty of video editing, it's done in seconds. Once again, going down steps to 1300. You'll notice I bring over a fan here to cool off the oven a lot quicker. That way, when the knives are ready, the oven will be ready too. You'll notice my temperature gauge is under 1200 degrees. But once I close the door, it starts climbing back up. Now 
Now it's up to temp, it's back in for the last normalizing cycle. Just use a pair of scissors to cut open the tool wraps. I made a mistake on this first one and pulled the knife out with my oily gloves. If you look, you can actually see the smoke coming off the knife. Alex Steele and other blacksmiths will use this process to patina metal and to seal it from rust. They just put oil on a rag and then apply it evenly after they heat up the metal. I've actually used cold blue, but I've never used the hot process. I've seen Alex Steele do it many times on his channel. So this first knife is the Argon. It looks really good. Nice colors, nice and clean. The next one is the cotton swabs. Then you got the paper. You can see where I grabbed it with the oily gloves. The swabs and the paper look fine too. Maybe not as clean, but they work just as good. So once again, it's time for the paint on any scale. Here I'll paint the 1084, and then I'll paint the 52100. A little bit later, I'll use the powder any scale. My oven is way too hot to put it in that, so I use the toaster oven to heat it up to 400 degrees. Then after 10 minutes, I take it out and apply the powder. Here I'm doing the 52100. I make sure to put it on as thin as possible. I shook the can once or twice, but I didn't stir it up or anything. I want a very light coat and very even. I'll hang it from a wire and then let it dry. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my other piece of wire, so I just took a screwdriver, put it in one of the pivot holes, and let it hang to dry. Worked pretty good. So next I set up for the powder data scale. I'm putting it on and bam, I dropped it. You can't really see it on the camera, but man, it made a mess. <laughs> So I'm doing the 52100 with the paint on any scale by itself. I figured out if you use canola oil, it works great with 52100. I'm pretty sure it's because canola oil is a slower quench. I think because the master car 11 second is quicker, when you mix that and the paint on any scale, it just doesn't work. This worked great. And then my camera died, so I had to grab my other camera 
And luckily I got that set up just in time. And into the oil. Unfortunately, I used the wrong knife. It's the one with the paint on any scale, but I measured the little knife, which actually fit in this bowl perfect. Then I painted the bigger knife. It still fit, just not the whole way. Oh well, it, it works, so that's all that really matters. Putting the other 52-100 knife in and the 1084, letting them go for 10 minutes as I set up my McMaster car oil. And the file skates, it worked. So happy, can't believe it. And now I got both cameras working. Figures. Oh well, here we go. And boom, into the oil. Try to keep the knife as straight as possible and just go back and forth. Let it cool off as long as possible. When you first put the knife in, you see the oil boiling. You have to at least keep it in till the boiling stops. I like to keep it in a little bit longer after that too. Last time, bam, in the oil. As long as the edge is covered, you're good. Some people only like the differential heat treat and they'll just do the edge. That leaves the back soft. I've even seen people do the edge and then a couple seconds later put the rest of the knife in. I usually just sink the whole knife. I'm not looking for hormone or nothing. It works, that's all that I care about. Land all three knives skate a file. A little bit later you'll see me do the HRC test. I've only got the HRC file, so it's only within five points, but it's better than nothing. this enough. Do not grind the anti-scale off. If it's the powder, if it's the paint, both are the same. You have to just wash it off. Soap in hot water, which works the best. When I first started working with this stuff, I grinded it, and it's just as bad as having the scale on. So do not grind it. HRC 65. I was going to leave the sound in, but I was listening to the radio and I was afraid Metallica would put copyright infringement. But you can see how easy the file just slides right off the knife. 
All three of the exact same. So they're all at least 65. So here's a little bonus footage of me cleaning up the knives. Real easy. 240 grit, aluminum oxide belt, took it right off. Didn't need any ceramics or anything. Just came right off and cleaned it all right up. And I'll finish this off with a little tip. When you work in it and busy, don't put a knife in fair chloride. It'll turn out like this. I forgot all about it and left it overnight. If you remember, this is the knife that was all warped before. It's been nothing but problems. Every step of the way it has fought me. So I think this knife is just going in the trash. Or maybe I'll just save it as a reminder of what not to do. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take it easy.